Hello everybody, this is Dr. Phil Dreis and Robert Huntley. We're here with two homeless guys, but guess what? We haven't given up, we're not picking failures. We're people, we're human. Senator of Shirley Huntley, uh, State Senator, New York State Senator Shirley Huntley. Oh, I love my mother and 113th of a crooked cop motherfucker that ruined my life and you know, and a uh, stink pussy fucking bitch. You know, along with that, you know, that uh, <clears throat> pretty much I loved her, she knew that, and I don't see how she could not help me at this point in my life. And my mother has pretty much not turned her full back on me, but has uh, let me have it, you know, really, you know, uh, to a sense that it's my fault that of my health condition, because I drove her into a nervous condition, and that's all bullshit. I love my mother from the bottom of my heart. I love Inspector, Deputy Inspector Tommy Lawless, who died, Mommy's right-hand friend, and PJ, and uh, Deputy uh, Inspector Philip Erickson. And you know, I have let 113th and uh, 103 off the hook with uh, whatever I feel. Show the bruises on you. They have ruined me. Show the bruises on you you got when you went over there and your brother beat you up. This is right here. This is State Senator Huntley's son, Robert Huntley. He was beat up by his brother, who's a, who's a New York NYPD, and told not to come back home again. That's, that's the kind, that's betrayal. That's treason. There's no sense for this. That's treason. But we're two homeless guys. <laughs> we're buddies. And I'm guess not, what? We're going to fight the I'm fight. I've been homeless for the last 20 motherfucking years where I thought I was like a white, black Jimi Hendrix. You know, where, you know, the guitar on my back and whatnot, but at this point in time, I'm 54 fucking years old, and this is bullshit. It's and today's Sunday, today Sunday, September 26th? Yes, it is. And it's as far right as now May, 740. As far as Mayor Bloomberg is concerned, the New York Senate, the Congressional uh, Committee is all full of shit. Because me and this man have legitimate evidence and what have you, and I have sued PD and fucking one. But this is bullshit, goddammit. This is what the fuck it is, you know, goddammit. And, you know, through any righteousness through God that sent his only begotten son down here when I, to when fuck I, with his denomination, his abomination of making this motherfucker and then turning his goddamn back on it is fucking bullshit. When I, Why the hell did his only son begotten son have to come down here and fuck with this mm, and now, be tortured now, by, by we goddamn went, before fucking Before we run out of time, Robert. Now. When I gave you that fly, you saw your mother's name on it, you called her. Yes, I did. And then when you when you spoke to her and you asked her, was I the guy that supposed to put the death threat or anything crazy like no, that? No, you were not. No, Ma denied that. It was not Dr. Philip Dreis. It, it was, was somebody else. Fuck, I have had, nothing to do with anything state, like who that. Had state police and a, a local 113th cop who held my hand one night. I was going to alcohol withdrawal. Another nice looking bald and cop. Yeah. I, oh, I talked about like dogs, that precinct. But yeah, they did ruin my fucking life along with that stink fucking cunt hoe, Chantel uh, Hassad Dubois. And she is full of shit. You know? Now, when you spoke to her, did she knew about this case about New York City Housing Authority and all that nonsense with me? She knew about it. She knew about it 100%, but her aides were handling the case, at which point they did not let my mother in on what's happening. And now she's they, trapped. They intercepted this man's legitimate interfuckingation by through eight. You know, like all politicians go. Not all politicians get their mails read and received by AIDS and do whatever the fuck they want with it. God damn it. And this my all fucking that. ass. Brother, we done here, man. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my mom's house in Howard Beach and my mom gonna give me some money. I got my bedroll right here. Everybody can see. This is the bedroll. This is what I sleep on. Robert, 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 I swear to God, I got another. I want to bring that up on the internet. Got, what do I, what, what, what um, it, it? Uh, It's on the fly I gave you. I got another one to give you. Here, take another flyer, but I can show you. We can sleep on the beach. I got another sleeping bag. I help you. Here, it's right here on the internet. Right here on this flyer, right here, brother. The way you was talking about so good about your mother until I heard her and I, until you and her started talking, that's not nice. Do you? Come on, man. The guy needs help. I was a drug and alcohol counselor. Jesus Christ. This guy needs help, folks. What, what is
Sucker Law, December 12, 2010, I'm going to call Ida Smith at the office of Congressman Meeks to find out what's going on here. Good morning, Ms. Hart. May I speak to Ida, please? Thank you. I like that. Totally disrespectful. And I'm the guy that put my neck and my reputation on the line. My boss was in trouble. We're all in union. Everybody was crooked. I worked for a Thompson campaign and the Democrats like a dog. Never got no credit. And from the conversation with Kim Fuller, Oh, four minutes. Time on hold. I must be calling Social Security. And this is the kind of treatment I normally get that I be bragging about. It's so great. It's bullshit. Hello, Ida. How you doing? I'm not sure. How are you? I'm um, doing no, no, I just, um, I just, that... Something's wrong with your voice. What's wrong? That walking pneumonia I had. Oh, my God. It came back? No, it never went away. I'm still getting taken care of by Aza. Okay. okay. Now, Ida, I, I got a big problem. Ida? Why can't you all put on a piece of paper Natchez conducting a formal redlining? Why is my stuff missing? What's going on? What stuff is missing? The two books I gave you to the White House, I spoke to Kim it's Fuller this out. morning. What if she doesn't have them? Who has them? You have them. You took no, them No, I didn't take them. You did take them. You told me, well, they're not going to be the, I need to keep them. And I said, fine. That's not what we said Friday. No, we said Friday. I said, if Kim doesn't have them, you have them. Because I gave her something that she carried back. Hold on a second. Hold Do, on. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to call no, oh, wait. no, listen, Ida, Ida. Um, I no, spoke I'm to her already. I don't what want to. What did she say? What did she say? She said she got one book that yeah. I addressed to the Justice Department. Yeah. I never sent anything to the Justice Department. There no. were only two books for the White House and the White, White House only. Well, then, then she took it upon herself to give it to the Justice Department because I know that when she was here, I gave her something and I told you that, I remember telling you that... So, so she took it upon herself to give it to the Justice Department, Ida? How you say... Ida, well, these no, people destroyed my life. No, these no, people no, hurt me. Bear in mind, you have to bear in mind this protocol. Okay. We don't send anything I do. I did. And look at what I got. What y'all did didn't get me nothing. You've been watching me for years. You've been watching me for years. You, you know I'm not crazy, and you know what I got. If it ever gets exposed, everybody's screwed. I haven't exposed anything. That's what the problem is. I needed you to. Oh, you would, okay. Okay. <laughs> Mommy, you know what? Then, I'm a, then, uh, I, then I was uh, right about you. Excuse and me? I was... I told, you, I told you from the jump what was going to happen. I told you that they were not going to read it. And that's why you took the other one. I, I told you. If I, if I got them, if I got them, I got them. Okay, but uh, anyway, the, the exact same thing are the court papers for my appellate court case, so it's not lost. 
I just wanted your copy so that I can show that I submitted this, that it was supposed to be for the White House, and it never was sent there to your office, and it was your superior that contained it. That, that's obstruction of justice. No, it isn't, because you could have sent it yourself, and you didn't want to. Because with with the evidence that you that you got that you read and you concluded that night is conducting a form of redlining only you can say that not me. But you said it, and I said I agree. I didn't put the words in your mouth. I never said it. I I said I agreed with you. It was a form of it. Okay, I, and I Ida. Don't, don't don't say that I said that because I didn't say it. All right you then. You did what you Anyway. Then, then, then what I'm, then what I, then what it said is, then what it's to say is that the office of Congressman Meach agrees with the evidence, which is what we said from the beginning, that um, from the look of the evidence, not what I said, it's what the evidence says. NYCHA is conducting a form of redlining. No. Right. Well, then somebody's supposed to do something after I lost all this, I, I, after I lost all this. Don't you want to help me get my money? That's the only way I'm going to get a pretty woman. You have enough brains and wherewithal. You don't need a pretty woman. <laughs> you always do what you know you have to do. That's not a prerequisite. God. And you know that's a fact. And you know that's not what you're about. Oh, well, guess what? Mother is courting a woman for me, giving me things to take to this woman that's got two kids. She just got a brand new baby, the boy. I met the guy, and I was giving, I was going, I'm, I was telling him, I'm giving this kid a college scholarship because I pay like 40 bucks a month, and he gets at least a two-year degree and all that. And then she told me, she ain't with, and I mean, she gorgeous. I love them kids. But I'm tired of getting a woman to loving their kids. I've been through that already, raising people. Why do you think when I get mad, I say all oh, the bad things I say? Well, you know, you can blame whatever you want, but it's all coming from your mind. So anything you say, I'm, I, I'm not going to believe. How do, I, how do I regain all the money, all the time, everything I lost? Well, what happened to the Aquatube campaign? Aquatube is right here. I got it out. Then why, aren't, well, then why aren't you doing it? I need money from all of my losses. In order to kick this off, I need seventy grand just for the radio commercials. I need another thirty thousand dollars to give to them down. I need at least one hundred fifty thousand dollars. I spent I close to four hundred already. Because you had contracts. I have a contract, which is a, which is an allotment contract. I've got to spend all of the advertising dollars in order to generate what I need to to make it uh, um, a mutual. A contract is something that do, two people provide. So you're suggesting, suggesting that your pursuit of the ninth left is going to pay for that? My, my, my pursuit of this cause for black people's rights, that all the black politicians did all everything they could to destroy my, help the city destroy my life. I don't, Con I don't believe that, and you don't believe that. You yes, I do, Ida, Ida. No, listen to me, Ida, Ida. When, when he, when he, when the office of the congressman got evidence that something is so egregious has occurred, and that the president's office responds to the Justice Department with, and and the, the letter showing. And that's exactly why she sent it to the Justice Department. Where was I supposed to? I wasn't supposed to know what she sent, when she said it, how she sent it, what's going on, so that'd be consistent. Okay, then I need a response to that. She was telling me, since my stuff was so garbage and disoriented, no, they don't no, respond they, to that. Excuse me. They've moved offices twice. And you know what it's like to move your house? It's worse when you're moving an office. Okay. Guess what? That's why the letter from the VA, I use that as my own excuse not to file litigation on anybody like I was threatening and all that stuff because we need to get this together, please. But I'm going on vacation. I'm done. After I'm talking trying, to you... I'm trying, I'm trying to find your white book. If she says she has one, I know you have the other because I didn't want it here. Okay, guess what? Now you know... Now I know how important it would look. Right now, no, I'm... No, that's not 
not it. That is not it. What? What, what it is is that you, I told you that they weren't going to read it, and you took it. Oh. You, took, you said, if that's the case, then I need to hold on. I said, fine. And, you, and then something else happened, and you needed it anyway. Right now? You don't remember that? No, ma'am. But that's okay. I got the duplicate in the court moving papers in appellate division. It's going to cost $300 to get it. That's all. Nothing else. But I just needed that one because since you all had it, I wanted to show that I did my due diligence to bring this forward. I got a book coming out. I got to prove everything I say. Well, you have enough documentation to prove everything you say. I've always told you that. All right, now I'm selling that story. But then now what about um, this whole situation with it goes back all the way to the Attorney General, which is now the governor-elect, unleashing NYCHA and untying their hands with no oversight for them to write policies that is eliminating people because of the Clinton administration welfare elimination program. This is crazy. This can get me killed. The things I'm saying. And the evidence points to it. What do you want me to do now? I've always wanted you to get out with your life. Get out with my life. That's what get, I got to do. Get, no, get on. Not out. Oh, get on with my life. Well, yeah. well, I don't know. I think I'm going to go hit on this young girl half my age with two kids and a brand new born baby. As a matter of fact, you can see the baby on the Internet now. That's my new show. <laughs> and Kim told me to stop. I can't let them get away with this. Well, you know, you can be happy, happy, and still pursue it. But you don't have to get to a point where people are turned off because you're, you're... All right, let me go get me a woman. Listen, I got a story for you. This is the story. I'm going to Florida to meet up with the Cuban uh, uh, mermaid colony who meet every 10 years to mate. But what they do first is... There are seven sisters from the seven seas that end up meeting up on Cuba Island to rest, go to Haiti um, to eat, and then beach themselves and turn into regular women in, 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 on, on, on Miami Beach. And the guy that's lucky enough um, to be standing there as a homeless guy on the beach gets to mate with the seven sisters, but the irony is...